What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be doing a test ride and review on the Triumph Speed Twin. And afterwards, I'm gonna tell you whether or not this bike is a good buy or a good buy. I'm gonna run through the specs right quick. Up at the front, we've got a 1200cc English parallel twin with a single overhead cam, mated to a six speed gearbox. A set of Brembo dual disc brakes up front with ABS, very minimalist gauges, selectable ride modes, and that's about it. And there's a unique thing about this speed twin here in front of me. But before I tell you that, I've got to tell you a little bit about dealerships. When dealerships fail, they have to recoup that money. And to recoup that money, they have to auction their bikes and liquidate all their assets. So us here at Head Motor Company picked up two of these at the auction. And whenever a dealership fails and they have to auction off their stuff, they have to register the motorcycle. So this is technically a pre-owned motorcycle with a whopping 23 miles. So we're gonna take it out, we're gonna ride it, and since we have two of them, I will be joined by a friend today who will be on one as well. All right, out on the Triumphs, I got this beautiful like candy apple red one, and then we got the silver one back there with old Chase. All right, so we're in road mode now. Let's start out on the lowest mode, actually. Let's start in rain mode. All right, let's turn it in. A little slow to turn in, not exactly a performance bike. Seating position is very ergonomically correct. The saddle's pretty nice, it's a little firm, and the bike sounds pretty good too. These English Parallel Twins sound pretty meaty. That red line of 8,000 RPM is kind of weird. Let's put it in road mode. Turn signals are not self-canceling, by the way. What a... Idiot. Suspension feels really nice. The bike glides over the road very well. Take it for a full loop in this roundabout. This thing holds a turn pretty nice, actually. Front end feels really happy. I don't think you have any idea how fast I'm here. How fast this and the torque feels really, really good. Yeah, this bike kind of gets down. Pretty cool. So, just quick specs. It's about 475 pounds. It makes 83 foot-pounds of torque, which is really nice. It makes just shy of 100 horsepower. It's like 98 and some change. I'm just going to call it 99. You might as well call it 100. Road mode feels very nice. This is probably the mode that you're going to be in most often whenever you're cruising around. Rain mode is, well, for rain. So far, I think Triumph's done an excellent job on this motorcycle. And I've got positive things to say about it. The exhaust kind of pops too on D-cell. That's kind of cool. Yeah, really confident in the turn here. Bike feels really good. Of course, it's not really made for the tightest turns. All right, we're going to hammer on it right here. The Brembo brakes feel really good. Wow. Wow. Is this thing wheelie? I wonder. It could have if it had a better rider. That gray one looks pretty good. Not too shabby. The rear end looks sick too. Twin cans look awesome. Those LED signals in the rear look great. All right, you guys know what we do here. This is the zero to 60 test. Three, two, one. 60. I just realized I forgot to put it in sport mode for my zero to 60 test. Sorry about that. I mean, you could probably factor about, I don't know, quarter of a second, half a second quicker to get into 60 from where I did with road mode. Man, this bike does sound good. Listen to this. Yeah, that's nice. It's got such a fun motor in it. This, this motor is very uh, happy. Yeah, it's stopping me from wheeling. But if the bike does wheelie, this is not the bike for wheelies. So maybe look at something different if that's what you want. Let's get Chase's thoughts real quick and then we'll wrap up the video. These bikes are pretty fun. For what they are, yeah, they're really fun. Yeah, for, for what it is, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. You could look at a 1,000cc Japanese bike, but they're like 2,000, 3,000 more. I don't know. I wish it had cruise control. But other than that, the, the, the motor's really punchy. Like, it, it feels really good. Yeah, I was impressed. Yeah, probably wouldn't buy one. You, you would buy one? Did I enjoy this more than that 700? I don't know. Which 700? Oh, oh man, that's a tough one. I don't know. That would actually be a, a really interesting comparison. Obviously, they're two different pieces. Well, yeah. The 700's made for more sport-oriented riding, and this is kind of just standard. I don't know. I don't know. I want to give you guys a good sound clip of this thing. Listen to this. 
that's the stock exhaust and I think that sounds great. So now for the verdict on if it's a good buy or good buy. But as always, do your own research. What I like and what Chase likes might not be what you're after. So keep that in mind. After talking with Chase and kind of feeling out what we thought about these bikes, we both think they're super fun. The Brembo brakes felt really good. We both agree the acceleration is on point. The ride modes are really good. We have a couple gripes though. These two little LCD gauges right here is where a lot of your information for your bike is displayed. And whenever the sun's directly overhead or coming at you this way, it makes it really hard to see what's going on here and read these. And that's kind of a gripe. You need to know what's going Going on in your bike at all times that's important stuff there sure heritage design flows with the aesthetic of the bike but we shouldn't let heritage design hinder what could be the fact this bike doesn't have cruise control is kind of a big deal to me because the japanese bikes that are around this displacement and power all come with cruise control and i think that should be standard once you spend over twelve thousand. and getting into that i think for what this bike is you can get a higher performance motorcycle for around the same money. And keep in mind, this is just my opinion, right? You guys don't have to follow what I say. The decision is up to you. It's your money, spend it how you like. But for me personally, and Chase as well, this is goodbye. Hey, it's me again. I just wanted to say thank you for your continued support on the channel. Thank you for everyone who subscribed to me so far. And I think we're gonna reach a thousand subscribers here before the end of the year. That's my new goal. So help me get there. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Consider leaving me a like. And if you wanna talk bikes or just have general questions, Leave me a comment below. I usually try to reach back out and answer anything that you guys want to know. That's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and ride safe.